Okay, welcome back, and we're going to make another video about algebraic fractions, everybody's favourite. So we're going to skip kind of the smaller, easier questions you might get in the book. So if you do a, uh, whatever book you have, if you do a chapter on algebraic fractions, the first few ones will be handy enough, and you should be able to solve them with uh, the things you've we've done in the other videos. So this one here, you should be able to solve it as well, but it's, this is just a, one of the harder examples we're going to do. So uh, we'd recommend, I'm going to write the example out now, so nice and big here y minus x squared plus y squared divided by y and this all over 1 over x minus 1 over y okay so this is going to be hopefully that will make sense this, this is a hard example basically so you should be able to do it if you just break it up into little bits so we recommend trying you try it first like pause the video look at the question try and do it and then you can Unpause the video and watch little bits of it if you get stuck. So try and do it yourself first, but if you can't do it, uh, we'll just do this video tutorial to show you. So the way anyone, if you if you came across a question like this, it's too much to try and do all at once, so you probably break it up into two little bits. So I'm going to do the top first. I'm going to do the top in, I'm going to try to write a little bit smaller, the top line in yellow. Okay, so yellow here. So this is going to be y minus x squared plus y squared over y okay so we're gonna do this first and we're gonna do the bottom half and we're gonna mix it all together so the first thing you want to do here is you want to put them you want to add these two fractions together so this doesn't look like a fraction but it actually is this is y over one okay that's the easiest way to look at this as a fraction so the way then that we're going to add these together so remember that this is the same thing in the bottom the lowest common denominator this is going to be just y in the bottom okay minus x squared plus y squared over y. So because y was already on the bottom here, you don't need to change anything because it already is the lowest common denominator. You only have to change this fraction here, okay? So this is already the lowest common denominator. You don't have to change anything. So this one here, we're going to need to change the top a little bit. So if we have to ask kind of what wasn't there before, that the, maybe that isn't the best way to think about it because there's a y on top and we might get confused about do we need to put a y there? So if we think back to the original way I was saying, so you have to divide what was on the bottom, which is just one, into what now is on the bottom, and then whatever is left goes on top. So one into y is gonna be y, and already on top there was y, so basically we're gonna get y squared. So then the way you can check that, so hopefully that made sense, that way you can check it, is that if you cancel out one of the y's here and one of the y's here, you should still be left with y over one. So y squared over y is the same thing as just y over one. Okay, so that's that's the way we're gonna change it so we can add the, the two fractions together to make one big fraction, okay? Um, one thing I'll just do here is I'll draw a little bracket around here and you'll see why now in a second. So if we add them together, so y squared is gonna be minus x squared plus y squared. Um, all over y okay so just be careful about this minus here because it's not just a lot of people would just put these together and you get minus x squared plus y squared over y but that's incorrect so the what the minus here it's minusing everything from this from everything in this so it has to be minus x squared minus y squared so we'll just work that out now uh, I'll try and write it all on the one line actually it's gonna be y squared minus x squared minus y squared all over y. Okay, and the reason for that is it's minus x squared plus y squared. So minus all of that, if that makes sense. Not just minus x squared plus y squared, okay? So be really careful about that. We're going to cancel the two y squareds because it's plus and minus, and we're going to be left with minus x squared over y, okay? So then we're going to scroll back up, and we're going to see what we had on the t The bottom line was 1 over x minus 1 over y, okay? So we're going to do that in red then just under this uh, red 1 over x minus 1 over y okay so if you remember this is very similar to our um oh sorry do that like that just gonna undo those here we go very similar to our first one which is 1 over a plus 1 over b remember a few videos back so we're going to have y on the top here and x on the top here. Because so if you cancel out the, so the y and the y there, you have 1 over x, and the x and the x here, you have 1 over y. So this is, again, just kind of adding two fractions together. We're going to be left with y minus x over 
x, y. Okay, so this is what we have in the bottom. So now I'm going to do it all in, what color have I used? Uh, blue. I'm going to do it all in blue, and hopefully we can squeeze this all into this thing here. Uh, so on the top, we're left with minus x squared over y. And the bottom, we're left with y minus x over x, y. And I'm just going to draw that a bit thicker. So if we look at this, what we have is we have two, one fraction divided by another fraction. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that. We're going to have minus x squared over y divided by y minus x over x, y. And this is going to give us minus x squared over y multiplied by xy over y minus x. So we've inverted this and then you multiply them. So that's when you divide two fractions by each other. The second one, you invert, you turn upside down. So if we turn this upside down, we get xy over y minus x. And then we multiply it by whatever it was dividing by. Okay? Um, yeah, so we're going to get minus x cubed y on the top because minus x squared by xy is going to be minus x cubed y. And on the bottom, we're going to get y multiplied by y minus x. Okay? And now then the final step is just to cancel out this y here and this y here. Okay? And we're going to be left with minus x cubed over y minus x. And if that's unclear, we're going to do a video soon about why to cancel out those y's there and not say that x and that x, okay? So make a video soon about that, but that is our big messy thing at the start. So I'll scroll back up. Um, so that, which looks like a bit of a monster of a question, can be simplified through, if you break it up into little bits, I think each little bit there wasn't too hard. It was just following the steps. It's a little bit different each time, but it's the same steps. Uh, having to add two fractions together, having to minus them, then having to divide two fractions by each other. So all the things we've done, and if you take it step by step, you can just, you can simplify something that looks quite difficult into something that isn't too bad at all. Okay, hopefully that all made sense. Thank you.